announced your endorsement for Romney back in November, is that correct? Yeah, I was, uh, after I dropped out of the race, I was very pleased and honored to support Governor Romney. I think he's by far the most capable, most knowledgeable, and most electable candidate in the field. Talk to me a little bit about that. Can he beat Obama and a little bit more detail about exactly what you like about him? Well, there's no question when you look at the polls here in Michigan and across America, the strongest Republican candidate without question against Barack Obama is Mitt Romney. And that's because he's got a great record of growing the economy, reducing unemployment, increasing employment. And I know that's an important issue here as it is all across this country. And he's the one person in this race who's actually done it. And can he beat Obama, do you think? There's no question he can beat Barack Obama. You know, if you look at the national polls, some weeks President Obama's a little ahead of Mitt, some weeks Mitt's a little ahead of Obama. But we know this, Mitt Romney is clearly the strongest Republican to take on and beat uh, President Obama, in large part because of Mitt's experience with the economy as an entrepreneur, starting businesses, growing businesses, providing jobs. And that's the pathway to a good quality of life for most people in Michigan and most people in America. St. Horn was considerably ahead in Michigan and Ohio. Um, are there any traits that you do like about Santorum or things that you might say that he's doing well or maybe things that you don't agree with? Well, in the Republican race, we've seen these other candidates who surge for a week, a month, or for a short period of time. But when the media and the public gets fully introduced or in some cases reintroduced to these candidates, they come and back to Mitt Romney or stay with Mitt Romney. There's only one candidate who stayed at the lead or near the lead and who's been steady throughout this race. It's Mitt Romney. The others have surged for a week or a month. But when you look at uh, you know, Senator Santorum's record, there's some things there that people are having to pause about, you know, the fact that he said he was no longer a, a fiscal hawk or a deficit hawk, the fact that he embraced earmarks when he was a senator. He has been somebody who has had issues around even embracing a, a health care in a way that a lot of people are troubled by. So Senator Santorum's record now is going to be unveiled more fully in Michigan and across the country. And when people do the comparison, I think they're going to see that Mitt Romney's got the better record on jobs, the economy, government spending and the like. As you said, you were a candidate for president. Um, what is your personal political future? Where do you see yourself going? Um, I'm going to open a margarita bar in South Florida. <laughs> I'm going to get a flowered shirt and play some Kenny Chesney music and uh, you know maybe some Kid Rock music and Jimmy Buffett for the older group, and it'll be awesome. <laughs> In all honesty, I mean, it, <laughs> no, I don't do know. You see My yourself? future. I'm, I'm honored to be able to help uh, Governor Romney. I think he's. Uh, not just a great leader, but a really great person. And so I'm, I'm, my future is going to be volunteering for Governor Romney, trying to get him elected president of the United States. And then after that, you know, we'll see. And, you know, if Republicans do get the White House back, would you want to serve in, in the administration? I don't know. You know, I've taken myself off the list of people to be considered for VP. I've been down that road before. Uh, but uh, I, I enjoy public policy. I enjoy public service. But uh, I don't know what the future holds for me, either in the private sector or the public sector, beyond just volunteering for Governor Romney. And I'm really excited to do that. He's going to be a great president. Perfect.